We're at the Goggle Works, and this is Ron Shira. We're going to talk with Barbara Toon, who is um, one of our resident painters here. And uh, she's an excellent artist, one of our mainstays in the community, and I um, just want to get a couple of words from her to talk about her artwork and um, just say uh, what she thinks. So, hi, Barb. Hi. <laughs> So how are you? I am fine. Working hard. Yes, obviously. This is a you you have got a, a a ton of things. And I'll tell you what, this is the most organized studio I've been in. You gotta be kidding me. Yeah. I mean it's like everybody else has stuff laying all over the floor and you know and you know, like things stacked up against here and there, but you've got a really you got a, like almost like a little gallery here. It looks great. I do have that, yes, yeah. you're right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um What do you want me to talk about? Well, anything. Talk about yourself. Talk about what you do. Well, okay. Um, I started uh, making art when I was uh, 40 and uh, got a BFA from Plymouth State College and MFA from Bard and um, basically have been involved with mostly painting, uh, particularly landscapes, uh, and now I'm working with uh, water. Um, but I always feel that there is a um, bit of a threat in most landscapes, as we all know, from just plain weather and whatever. And so that enters into my work all the time. Uh, then I've been doing installations, um, mostly creating environments that um, maybe tell a story, maybe just um, give people a, a, an aura of something. We just had a major exhibit over at the uh, Freiburger Gallery True. for um, Penn State University, mm -hmm. which was which was really a good show. I really enjoyed that. Well, that one had a lot to do, well, it did have to do totally about the way images and words work together. Mm -hmm. And so I was writing uh, poetry at the same time, and it, it involved all that in the um, planning of the exhibition. Um, and that seemed to be to give me that momentum, which is kind of interesting. Um, I do need to have some kind of a theme usually going when I when I prepare works for a show. And I one of my oldest themes is um, primitive civilizations, uh, and I would say that that particular piece right there is a um, an example of um, I call it my African wall. Well, let's take a look at it. Okay. These are pieces of um, wood. Um, I've used oil paints and photographs and wax and some fiber to create a sense of that um, sort of primitive um, belief system, actually. I'm very interested in, the, in their belief in um, the closeness to the land and what it gives them and um, their whole spiritual involvement with the land. So these are all um, done separately with nothing in mind when I did them, but putting them together seemed to pull pull some kind of a thought together. Well, it's all part of all part of the same um, directive. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. Right. It's very interesting. I mean, really, and they all interrelate in some in some fashion here. Yeah, I think. Um, out of this whole thing, well, actually, the reason I did this was I was creating very large paintings, and um, I'm I found that when I picked up a piece of wood to uh, to work with it, uh, there was a wonderful sense of freedom uh, because I knew if I did, if it didn't work out, I put it down and picked up another piece of wood. Mm -hmm. Whereas with a large painting, you you know, you you, you really have to. Uh, Correct it right there, and uh, sometimes that's possible, and sometimes it's not. Yeah, yeah. It takes, so, it takes a little uh, more planning. Right, right. Yeah. So now I'm doing um, more landscapes. Um, most of it has to do with the mystery of um, the mystery of landscape, the mystery of the earth. Um, some of it has to do with uh, the earth dying, actually, although I've got much of that here. Well, it's uh, it's a threat of the earth dying. Yeah, 
I um, am still working on that whole part of it. Um, the little um, legs that you see over there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> little stockings, yeah. Little stockings that uh -huh. used to be formed to stretch mm -hmm. stockings on, and I thought, well, I don't, the idea of a walkabout that the Australians do. Mm -hmm. uh, I've been very interested in Australian um, Aboriginal work, and uh, so I decided that these could be arranged as a walkabout. So I have about 12 of them to work on, and uh, see how where that goes. And let's see. Um, I have done some sculpture. Uh, the um, tremendous waterfall to the sun. Mm -hmm. one. That was one of the pieces that you had over at the Freiburger That's show. That's correct. Yeah. yeah. Now this is made of. Um, this is made of a fi fiber, uh, almost like a colored twine, and um, I glue gunned all those um, plastic teardrops to it. And it actually, if it's lit really, really well, it just shines. Well, you can see that here from the light that can come mm -hmm. in the window. You get the next one. The light actually is even better. Mm -hmm. yeah. Very nice. Very nice. And then um, this piece actually was created um, because of a poem I wrote about the um, beginning of dawn before uh, before the sky really lights up. And um, and I and this is oil paint on canvas with wax surfaces. Mm -hmm. Well, the wax the wax really adds a not very nice texture to it. Yeah, I, I like that. Yeah. I like really that like the, really like the surface of this and the way it, the way it glows.